Hi, this is Chris. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be back with you on screen. And today I really like to give you a, a very powerful understanding and concept on how to build a highly profitable professional practice. Uh, PPP in short. Uh, profitable professional practice. Now, the problem with a lot of people in the industry is that uh, they do not have a very clear understanding of how to build a business. I see a lot of talented people being in the business. They do well. You know, uh, they do good in sales, they hit their targets. Uh, year after year, every year when they start the year, they start from zero again. And it's, after a while, it's really, really tiring. And I guess if there's a clearer finishing line, I guess, I guess people will be more motivated to move forward, uh, invest more time and effort and focus energy to, to grow a business that can potentially give them six to seven figure recurring income for life. So I, what I call that is I call that the million dollar practice. MDP in short. Now, how does a million dollar practice work? Very simply, first of all, salesmen sell time for money. And they make pretty good money for the time they sell, but eventually it's still selling time for money. Now, what differs a salesman from a businessman is a businessman focuses on not just selling time for money, but along the way, they build clientele. All right, the key thing is clientele. All right, when there's clientele, when there's uh, people at work, the system at work, what happens is this will generate what is called cash flow. A business is valuable. One of the key reason that a business is valuable is because of cash flow, ongoing cash flow. Another thing that adds value to a business is, of course, a brand. For example, if you were to look at Apple, Apple has very, very high brand equity. So if Apple were to launch any kind of product, it could be iPhone, iPod, iPad, you name it, it could be an iTV, or it could be an iSound next time, guess what? It's going to sell, right? Because there's already a pool of fans, clientele, law, uh, loyal followers who can't wait to, to put their hands on the next Apple product. All right, and the, the business has people at work, the system at work, and is constantly generating cash flow. That's why Apple is such, it worth such so much money. How about your business? Let me ask you a question. If you were to stop today, how much is your business worth? Don't try because you're going to find hard to answer the question. All right, so in my view, my desire is to empower uh, business owners, financial practitioners, all right, uh, property consultants, all right, uh, any SME owners to turn their business from being a self-employed to a successful business with people at work, the system at work, and they generate minimum six to seven figure recurring income. That's my desire. Now let's come over here to see how do you exactly do that. <coughs> now, uh, for for example, I just use uh, insurance or financial advisory as an example. Now, uh, in my view. Uh, in any form of business, they need to achieve this thing called critical mass. All right. My belief is, if you are to acquire three hundred families or individuals, if you have three hundred families, the good news is, these three hundred families will be able to give you this thing called three R's. What are the three R's? The first R. It's called repeat business. The second R, I call referrals. Because happy clients will be giving you repeat business. For example, this is insurance for example. There's been research that an average family, an average person would buy insurance at least seven times to ten times in their lifetime. From the time they graduate, you know, it could be in a hospital, be a hospital coverage, uh, basic life coverage. After that, we got married, they buy a home, they upgrade their policies, they get a mortgage reducing term to cancel, you know, against their outstanding loan if they pass on. They probably buy something for the wife, they probably get something for the parents who are aging, uh, medical, uh, long-term care, you name it. For the children, children's uh, coverage, children's education, Easily 7 to 10, and that is excluding savings and investing. So I believe that if you have a successful business with a critical mass of clientele, 
there will be lots of repeat business. And repeat business is way more easier to harvest than new business. It is said to, it has been said that uh, on an average, a repeat business is 10 times more cost effective compared to a brand new business. How true is that? Right? The second thing, happy clients will give you high quality referrals. Right? Uh, as you move up the market, chances is they recommend people around their profile if you serve mass affluent in their 30s, in their 40s. Naturally, they recommend people who are in their 30s and 40s. Make sense? Right? So the quality of referral is going to be better over time. So guess what? It's going to get easier. It's going to get better. You're going to be rewarded much more by doing much less. That's the whole idea of entrepreneur doing business, right? You know, entrepreneurs are those who are willing to sacrifice a few years to build a business so that they don't have to work so hard physically in the future when most people are not willing to, right? Finally, the third R is what I call a recurring income. And ideally, a different stream of income. Now, the moment, like what happens is the moment when you build a business, you have a pool of database and follower, guess what? You already have a distribution channel or network, right? It is possible to increase your revenue. You either increase widen your network, this is one way. Another way, is it possible for you to introduce different solution, different product? You know, they are relatively similar. You need to have a theme, right? You don't be appearing like a cheap salesman selling all kinds of things, right? One moment, you're selling medicine. One moment, you're selling vitamins. One moment, you're selling mortgage. One moment, you're selling investment. Hey, what do you do exactly, right? So you need to have a theme. For example, if you're in wealth management. So anything to do with wealth management could be investment, could be insurance, could be a mortgage, could be tax planning, could be setting up a trust, family office for high-end, uh, high ultra, high net worth clientele, etc. All right, you may tell with a private bank or open private bank account right, for your clients in the region, etc. So, it is possible to develop a business into a multiple stream income based business, you know, if you have a very solid foundation of 300 families. I hope that makes sense to you so far. Do you like what I, what I want to share with you so far? I hope so. Right? And if you look at this, each of these business easily can give you a six figure to seven figure. Revenue a year. I'm not talking about. Uh, I'm talking about USD here, yeah. Uh, Sing dollar, which is quite strong as well. And currently, that's where I am. And base, right? And this, in my view, will give you a stream of income for life if you manage it well, and if you want to invest the money well as well, right? With, you know, well, you easily be a millionaire, multi-millionaire in 10, 15, or even 20 years at max. Right? That's the whole idea of running a highly profitable professional practice. And in a series of training, I would love to empower you with more concepts, more techniques, more understanding all right, on how you can build this million dollar practice a lot faster. Well, 300 looks like a big number, but let me, let me encourage you by saying this. How long would it take you to acquire 300 families? Answer that question. Right? In my view, if you are averagely good, all right, it is possible for you to use five years, you know, require 60 clients a year. 60 clients a year is probably about five a month. Come on, one a week. How difficult is that? Right? Five years. If you're really committed, really focused, perhaps in the area of, say, financial advisory, then you're three years, 100 clients a year. It is possible. You're talking about eight clients. Uh, a month, which is about two clients a week, is humanly possible. All right. And let's assume that you are average, and uh, you know you took it really easy, right? Uh, so I joke with people that you know you are full time, but you have a part time mindset, right? It probably take you ten years. All right. Of every year, about thirty clients, one month, two, three clients, which is absurd, right? Because that's so slow. But guess what? Even if it take, if it takes you ten years to get there. You can still be a millionaire. You can still be a million dollar practice. With six to seven, you can come for life. That's the power of perseverance. All right. You know the problem with our, uh, for what I observe about a lot of young entrepreneur people in the financial sector, uh, property, you name it. You know they struggle so much in the first, in the first three five years. You know they struggle so much over here. 
All right? And because they don't have an end goal in mind, they don't have clarity of where the finishing line is. You know, after halfway, you know, imagine this. They came in first with the concept of that this their digging goal. It's a goal digging business, right? So the end goal was the goal. But guess what? At the beginning portion of the business, you see more gold or you see more dirt? Exactly, you see more dirt, right? But if you lose sight of the goal, you will only see the obstacle. And over time, as you dig more and more soil, more dirt, more than gold, guess what? After a while, you get disillusioned. And to you, it's no longer a gold business, it's a dirt business. And after a while, guess what? You throw in the tower, you give up. And to me, it's such a pity because that goal could be just six feet away. Like what the Napoleon Hill think and Group say, six feet from the diamond. Right, so I want to encourage, uh, I don't know how well you're doing, I don't know which industry you're we in, but you know what, I want to encourage you to understand, have a good understanding that, you know, all it takes is to get to the 300 families or 300 clientele. And if that is the critical mess for your business, you know what, you strike gold. All right. If you do not have that understanding, guess what? Halfway, you're going to give up. All the struggle, all the sacrifice, all the rejection, all the pain that you have gone through in the three, five years has gone down the drain, go to waste. And you, what will you do? You will go and join another company and start from scratch. You will go join another industry and start from scratch again. My friend, it doesn't pay to jump around because to have expertise, to develop mastery in anything, you need to clock in the hour. Heard of the 10,000 hour in the book called Outlier by uh, Malcolm Gladwell? Yeah, you need to clock enough hours to reach mastery. If you keep jumping around, guess what? You will never achieve mastery. And worst of all, you will never be able to harvest all the sacrifice, all the work you put in to enjoy the goal in the business. Well, I hope that's an encouragement to you and that it gives you new insight to the business. Uh, this is Chris Chan and uh, happily serving you and helping you with breakthrough in the business. Have a good day. Bye-bye.